Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Modern Musings and today we're gonna do an unboxing video. If you like this kind of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So just to give you guys a quick backstory on this particular bag, we just came back from a holiday from Italy where we went to Rome, Naples, Tuscany, particularly Siena and Montepulciano and then we went to Florence and then we were able to pass by Pisa and Luca and then we went to Venice. Also when traveling, I try to get something from that particular country as a reminder of my holiday. And so as we are going to Italy, what better way than to buy myself a bag? So I've been eyeing this bag for such a long time now, probably about a few months. And I really, really like this bag. And so I probably have um, went to every possible shop here in Dubai for this particular brand. And so I thought since we're going to Italy, what better place to get it than there? So without further ado, I'm gonna show you which bag I'm referring to. So anybody who's such a fan of this particular brand already knows what this paper bag holds. So I got myself a Gucci bag. I have been eyeing this for such a long time and anybody who is following me on Instagram or who's one of my friends already knows what this bag is and I'm so happy that I got this and especially that I got it in Florence in Italy which is such a good reminder of our trip. Every time that I go inside the Gucci shop, I always get drawn to this particular bag just because I think that it's so timeless and it's so classic. And normally when I buy a luxury designer bag, I try to think of how often would I get to wear this? How much wear can I have for this particular bag? Because after all, you're gonna be paying so much money and so I just wanted to get my money's worth when buying something like this especially for like luxury designer handbags um, and so I um, I've been doing a lot of researching especially on the Gucci website trying to compare um, the value and I was actually particularly looking for a different um, type of this particular bag and I thought I wanted this particular color because when I went to one of the Gucci shops here in Dubai, they didn't actually have this type of color. Um, so I thought maybe they would have it in Florence, seeing as Gucci is actually an Italian brand. So I went in there and I saw the bag, and, which I wanted originally, which was in I think like a blush, um, nudie, Color. and it also has like studs and like pearls on it but the only thing that kept me from buying that particular bag was the fear of it like being damaged because as you know like the pearl detail on the Gucci bag it's not recessed or anything so it's actually a bit protruding so knowing me and how I usually carry bags, I was a bit worried that I might scratch it and or I might like lose one of the studs or the pearls or something. And so that was the only thing that was keeping me from buying that. So although I told the sales assistant that these are um, some of my setbacks, some of the drawbacks that keeps me from buying that particular color, she actually assured me that if something should happen, Gucci will obviously um, fix it for you and will replace it for you. But I just didn't want to um, get into that situation. So I thought I'm just going to get the fail safe um, color that I originally wanted. Um, and so this is the bag. Guys, Getting into a Gucci shop, I would say, is such an experience. 
Um, at first, I was just browsing around. The sales assistant was very patient enough and kind enough to like assist me in all the bags that I wanted to try out. So I opted for the Gucci mini padlock bag in their classic beige Gucci canvas in black leather top and gold hardware. So this is how it came in. So it came in this really nice Gucci box and just seeing it you know, gives me all these memories back from where we were in Italy. Um, as usual, it's got this nice ribbon um, that you get all the luxury when you buy a luxury designer bag. I love how um, when they package it for you, it has all these ribbons and the paper bag is nice and it just makes you feel that all the money that you spend for this type of bag is so worth it because from the packaging itself it looks really nice and so as with like my previous designer bag i kept all of the things including the stuffing inside it also i think the major key that pushed me to buy this bag in florence was that they have tax refund. So tax refund, basically um, what I got I think was a 10% tax refund which I can claim from the airport. So our last stop was Venice so I got the tax refund in the Venice airport and also like you can either get it um, by cash or they can transfer it to your credit card. But at the time I opted for cash so we got, I think uh, for the price that I paid, uh, the bag is actually 1,250 euros and the tax refund was 150 euros. So I think roughly in dirhams, that's about 5,450 dirhams. And because of the tax refund, I got it for 4,760. So um, I actually got, um, I actually got it for 690 less which is such a good deal. I think that was the turning point where I thought, yes, I'm gonna buy this in Italy and I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy this here in uh, Florence. I'm so happy, as you can see from my face. Um, it comes in the Gucci dust bag, which looks something like this. I think this particular fabric is like, kind of like a satiny, silky fabric, which just has this Gucci um, logo and um, yeah I think inside I think inside it also has that Gucci yeah it has this Gucci like um, labeling in it so this is the Gucci bag that I was telling you about um, I'm just going to quickly take out the rest of the foamy layer so that you guys can see it properly. This is the Gucci bag that I just got from Florence. So this is called the mini padlock bag. I opted for this classic one which has the beige Gucci canvas and the black um, top leather and then the gold hardware. It also has a contrast, a tan, like a darker tan colored um, leather on the sides and also on the like this keychain type where it, it holds the two keys, two uh, gold keys. Um, yeah, so it's such an amazing bag. As soon as I saw it again, I fell in love all over again. On this particular one, um, I think on one of the shops here in Dubai, I'm not sure, I think it's Mall of the Emirates. When I went there, I think this was uh, like four months ago or something. I don't know if it's like one of their promotion or something, but um, the sales assistant who was there actually told me that if I were to buy that bag that time, I could get my initials um, engraved on the bag. I 
I just wasn't sure where exactly they would put it but I'm guessing it's actually on this it could probably on the other side where they could like put your initials in um, he even said that I could put my whole name um, I think at the time he was saying like you know you could get it engraved or something like uh, six letters six characters but seeing as my name is like seven Abigail so he said I, he can actually put my whole name in but now that I was thinking about it, if you are thinking of reselling this bag, I think it will be easier to not have it engraved so that um, whoever's gonna buy it off of you um, the next time around, then you wouldn't have to worry about having a, a different name or a different initial on the bag. It also has a back pocket here. Um, it's a bit tight. I think like for me especially, um, I don't know, you could probably put like um, a card here or something or if you're taking like the public transport, you can put your um, card in there. So this um, strap can actually be worn both ways as a shoulder or just as a top handle. I actually have another bag which has a chain strap. And initially when I saw this bag, I thought, you know, it might be uncomfortable seeing as this has a thicker chain strap, but actually when I tried it on, it wasn't too bad. So I'm just gonna show you guys how easy it is to wear as a shoulder. So this is how you would wear it as a shoulder strap. And then you can wear it as like um, as a top. Yeah, I, I really love it and I really like that, you know, it's just the right size for me. Um, I could still get away with having it um, as a crossover, like a crossbody bag. So when you open the bag as well, it has, um, I'm just going to take out like some of the stuffing because I still haven't done that. So it has... It has this camel colored suede lining, which feels uh, really luxurious. And then inside that, it has like this um, tiny swatch of the Gucci beige canvas. So yeah, I just normally would keep it there. So it just has the Gucci care instructions. Also inside, there's a there's like a leather. Um, bit there that says Gucci made in Italy and then on here there is a like a tiny strap or a tiny um, fabric in here that actually has the I think the serial number of the bag. I'm just so happy to get this and this to be a part of my collection. So for me this is such a good investment piece and also for uh, those who are starting to do their luxury designer bag collection, I think that this would be a good um, starter piece for your luxury designer handbag. And this is one of those pieces that I think looks very classy, um, especially because it has that Gucci um, beige canvas, which looks really timeless. So I think, you know, like I personally would be able to use this for uh, a good number of years because it's such a classic piece. Now coming into Italy, I really didn't think about the tax refund. I just thought I want to get something from that place to remind me of uh, my trip there. But then as soon as the sales assistant told me that I could avail of the tax refund, then I think that was the point where I decided that yes, I'm going to get the bag from this place. So guys, I'll put a link of the Gucci mini padlock bag on the description box below and I also would uh, put a link of how you can get a tax refund if ever you're in Italy and you decide to get um, a Gucci bag.
So guys, thanks for watching this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you like this kind of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So if you like this kind of unboxing videos, let me know on the comment section. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys!